Okay, hi everyone. Um, what we're going to do today is we are going to be talking about uh, how the heart beats. So I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. And the first thing you're going to do, because I'm going to expect you to be taking notes. So the first thing I want you to do is you are going to draw this circle once again. Okay? And as you know, that's the heart. And you know the parts of the heart. So the first thing that happens is up here in the right-hand corner, you have something called the sinoatrial node. Okay, and um, also known as the SA node. Okay, it's also known as the SA node. So what this is, um, or I should say, it's also known as the pacemaker of the heart. So if you look at this, that's the pacemaker of the heart. If you look at it, it gets signals, if you remember the cranial nerves, it gets signals from the vagus nerve that will basically tell it how fast it can beat. <laughs> Right, so what it does is it basically um, causes it causes the um, it causes the atria. Remember, atria is plural for atrium to be. Okay, that's what the SA node does. So the SA node is going to cause the atria to be. Now. The other thing that happens is right down in here, we have something called the AV node. All right, so I'm just going to write AV node. Okay, so there's my AV node, also known as the atrial ventricular node. All right. It's also known as the atrial ventricular node. So what's going to happen now is the SA node, like we said over here, the SA node is going to cause my atria to beat, but the SA node is also going to send a signal to the AV node. Okay. Now, what the AV node's going to do is it's going to stop that signal. So the AV node stops the signal. Okay? It stops the signal. Then what's going to happen is... Um, after it stops the signal, it just stops it for a second for a, it's actually less than a second. It's like a millisecond. So for a short period of time. Okay. And the reason it does this is so that the atria can contract. Because remember, the blood has to come from the atria into the ventricles. So it does that so that the blood can come from the atria into the ventricles. If the ventricles are contracted at the same time as the atria, then the blood's going to have nowhere to go. But when these contract, it forces the blood down into the ventricles. Now, once the blood's in the ventricles, it has to be pumped to either the lungs or to the, out to the body. So what the AV node does then is... Um, after the blood is in the after the blood is in the ventricles, what it's going to do is it is going to um, the AV node sends the signal for the ventricles to contract. Node. Sends, oops, that should be the word after, sends signals for ventricles to contract. Okay? 
That sends signals for the ventricles to contract. 